Hey special family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between. If you'd like to be part of the family, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So today's topic is kind of random because a subscriber made a good point. She said that my channel doesn't get as much views and credit like it should. And she was wondering why. But I wanted to go a little deeper into that because I understand where she's coming from. But it's usually like that. If you're a channel holder and you talk about educational stuff and you talk about stuff that can help your special need child or you you drop gems and jewels it's not entertaining it's not drama i'm not out here exploiting my child so no it's not it's not that appealing to them but i wanted to make a point that i'm not here for all of that i'm here to let people that are willing or want to know more how they can help their special need child to teach them how I'm here to show them that there's a human being living inside of that child. I'm there to show them that that child is not an animal or a defected person that doesn't need to see the outside of the house. They have as much rights as you have. They're a, they have the right to be in society. They have the right to be outside. They have the right to take advantage of things that you take advantage of. They have the right. My main thing that I stress, even on my podcast, is making sure that your child is okay whenever you're gone. Because a lot of people don't think that far. You have a special need child walking out here with Gucci, Prada, Kristen Dior. But you don't have a special need trust. You can't even afford to die. You don't have life insurance. What happens to that child when you die? Is Gucci coming up to pick up the speech and OT bill when you die? Is Kristen Dior coming to pick up the ABA therapy bill when you die? What about housing? Is Prada coming up and pick up your housing tab? Making sure your child has somewhere to live for the rest of his life? You out here buying all these name brand things for your child but your priorities aren't straight. You need to get your priorities straight. Because if you add up that Gucci Prada and that Christian, and that Christian Dior... You can afford a special need trust. And these are the main people that are there whining about, oh, a special need trust is expensive. Yet you, you towed in a $3,000 bag. Then you can't afford the special need trust. Because that little bag you towed in could have made your child's future better. But no, your priorities are all over the place. And it's all about image. It's all about perception. It's all about what people think of you, how people see you, that you don't even think about this child's future. We all we are all here for a season and when it's our time to go, we're gonna go. But what are you leaving behind? It is very important for special need parents to have a life insurance because that life insurance can take care of your child when you're gone. If you can't afford to die, what what good are you to this child? I don't mean you need to have a million dollars sitting around, but get a policy. Get a policy. And the first thing, oh, it's life insurance is expensive. The policy is expensive. Debt is expensive. Leaving a child behind with no plan is expensive. It's like being sick. We don't want to eat healthy. We want to eat crap. And when you get cancer, guess what? It's expensive. So the organic foods... Compared to cancer, mm, yeah, I'm not here to sugarcoat stuff. And I want you as a special need parents to do your due diligence to this child. Name brands are not going to fix this child's situation. You can fix that situation. You can step up and put a special need trust in place. You can step up and put an ABLE account in place. You can step up and make sure you do not put your special need child as a beneficiary on any account. On none. You're doing your child a disservice. 
you can step up and make that happen and if you don't need none of this advice because you got it like that then good for you but 90 percent of the community does not have it like that and these are the steps that they have to take and now i'm stepping over to the parents that just got a diagnosis listen to me i know you're down i know it hit you like a brick wall the minute or the moment they said that word your child has autism you're sitting there you're holding your head you're depressed you're down you want to cry you want to do the whole nine sister girl hello you pick yourself up because when you wake up tomorrow guess what that child still has autism you leave it alone for a year guess what that child still has autism it fell in your lap it's already there how do you handle it get up and do what you gotta do yes it's okay to cry yes it's okay to be sad but you gonna have to factor that in in the part that this child life is still going on the sooner you tackle this the better for the child and the better for you the sooner you start nipping this in the butt and not sit there in denial or no i don't think he has it this has to be a mistake you're not doing this child a service get up and nip that thing in the butt yes you had a diagnosis yes your child has autism what's the next step okay go and see a child psychologist or get a diagnosis from an autism center but get a psychologist to perform a thorough a thorough assessment and they'll give you a diagnosis once you have that diagnosis make sure you keep that on your desktop because that's the bible in autism world any service you need that's the one paper they ask for first can i get a copy of his diagnosis can i get a copy of her diagnosis can i get a copy of the diagnosis so you better have that at arm's reach now you got the diagnosis what's the next step your child is under three in atlanta we call it babies can't wait if you don't know what the name is in your state google babies can't wait in iowa an example it's gonna come up these these kids have services they help the child from age zero to three to transition into the school system without have you as a parent running around like a chicken without head you get that in order that's step two get your child early educational help in atlanta it's called babies can't wait they bring therapy services to your house you don't even have to go nowhere if your child is in a school they will even go to the school and try to work something out with the school where the services can be given there if you don't want these people in your house that's step number two you got a diagnosis from the child psychologist you have it on your desktop at arm's length you contact babies can't wait and yes in autism world there's no such in autism world there's no such thing as tomorrow everything is months away months away months away and it can drive you nuts but guess what you better keep calling and ask do you guys have a cancellation hi this is ramsey's mom do you guys have a cancellation i know i have an appointment in january next year but is there a cancellation sit on it you have to put your foot in there you get that done you're on aba now now your child is getting therapy at home or in school wherever you want it to be you get that done go find your speech and ot get that ready so now your child is working on those things aba therapy speech and ot it's time for your child to transition into school when your child has autism or any special needs they start school earlier than the normal child ramsey started at three aba make that transition from home to school so easy they work with the teachers to make an iep plan for your child an iep plan is something that every child with special need gets in order to make a plan of what that school year is going to look like and the things you want the teacher and whoever to work on the school also offers speech and ot take it you might get 30 minutes maximum and they might even fight you for that 30 minutes but you're the parent you're the voice you fight for that 30 minutes my child need the whole 30 minutes twice a week yes he needs it but your child has some i don't care he needs it you fight for that iep 
The IEP is going to be your school Bible. The IEP is what the companies need to. So that needs to be on your desktop right under that, that, um, that um, diagnosis. It needs to be at arm's length because that's something they ask for too every time you turn around. So that's the three things. Now your child is in the school system. While it's in the school system now, you're going to start looking for ABA therapy. ABA therapy is the Bible. ABA therapy has my son communicating from no communication to having an argument on a device. The boy can't speak not two words, but he can argue for some Oreos on a communication device. Thank you, ABA therapy. I, I really appreciate it. But that's your next step. So now you have speech, OT, in school, at home, ABA therapy. And now that you have these three, you can decide if you want to keep all of them or you want to put your focus on speech, OT, and ABA all together. I went hard for ABA because I felt like OT wasn't doing too much for him. But when he got into ABA, it's like I was looking at a whole nother human being. Every day was a new day. Every day was a progression. My oh, ABA taught my son brushing his teeth. He might not be where he needs to be, but ABA. ABA taught him how to communicate. ABA taught him how to open the door, knock, close the door, even though he'd be locking himself in there sometimes. But ABA taught him all of that. Fine motor skills. He, he can match numbers. He can match letters. He can match categories. All thanks to ABA. So now you have those things going. Let that be your basis. I can't tell you older than nine because I'm dealing with up to nine and this is what we get going on. But the more I know, the more I will share on this channel. But do I know they told you your child has autism and hit you like a brick. You're depressed. <laughs> Snap out of it, sis. Be depressed at night when he go to sleep. Cry yourself to sleep if you have to. Shed a tear. If he's not around and you just want to take a day off work to just be sad all day, do it. But the minute they step off that bus, hey, get back to earth. They're here now. Deal with it. Nobody said you can't be sad. Nobody said you can't take time for yourself. But once they set foot through that door, you got to step in. They're here now. The, young, the sooner you nip this thing in the butt, the better for you. I'm telling you. So, you get a diagnosis. You get babies can't wait. You get your IEP plan together. You get your ABA. And you start working with that. Because people don't tell people stuff like that. All they tell people, Oh look, this is my child with autism. Today, she cleaned the table. And their parents out there who are like, oh my God, my child has autism. Somebody get me. Why me? Why me? Because I know when you heard it, you went to, you went through the denial stage. Matter of fact, you're still going through the denial stage. Because there's stages. And these stages are going to hit you like a brick. Some days you're going to just fall out bawling. But the child still lives with you. They still exist. They're already here. So you gonna just sit there, look at them and ball, or you gonna ball, wipe your eyes, and okay, what do we need to do next with this child? That's what I'm getting at. So you just got a diagnosis, what's next? Get your babies can't wait. You already fixed babies can't wait, what's next? Get you some ABA, OT, and speech. And then work your way up from there. I have another subject coming up, it's called now come, I need to do some more research on that. But that's another thing we as special needs parents need to look into. Because now come, <laughs> that's a topic for another day. But I just wanted to give you some words of, of encouragement. Don't be stuck in the situation. I know you're going through your denial phase. But the sooner you get, the sooner you get to the acceptance phase, the better for you. So get up, pick up your cross, walk with it. Because nobody's going to do it for you. You're the advocate. You're the voice. Pick it up and walk with it. I love you guys. And I keep sending you encouragement to do this. Because this is not an easy task. But like they say, God doesn't give you more than you can bear. And if we couldn't bear it, we wouldn't be where we are. So shout out to my special needs family. 
the parents who are doing it on their own the parents who are doing it as a team you guys rock there's nobody in the world that could stand in your shoes so shout out to you and i'll catch you in the next video bye